Hey guys, it's Ryan. Uh, just going to show you a real quick video on how to get your Google Home Mini working for G Suite accounts that are running into this issue. Uh, whenever I la ask my Google to turn off the lamp, um, do a timer or anything, it would give me this. Okay, Google, set a timer. To get help with that, you'll need to give me some more information. You can do that in the Google Home app. Now, I can never figure out where in the Google Home app to make this all work. Um, it seemed to be all straightforward and set up. So eventually, I kind of asked uh, Google, Okay, Google, what information do you need? Google wants you to understand what data it collects and uses. You can find more info on Google's privacy website. If you have a Google account, you can review your personal data in my account and your activity data in my activity. So they want the activity, which for my account, I have a business account with Google, um, and that's what the account I'm using for my Google Home. So for me, it's under G Suite, which we're going to go ahead and hear. If you have a G Suite business account, to enable that service, because for some reason, it's automatically disabled for business accounts, you need to go to admin.google.com. Now, admin.google.com is your administration panel for your G Suite account. So that means you need to be the owner of the Gmail account company that you have, like, you know, the parent company. So once you're here and you log into the correct email address that you are using on your Google Home Mini, you want to go to apps. And once you go to apps, you need to go to the additional service, uh, additional Google services. Um, they provide a whole bunch of services and you need to go to, through this list. Um, so once you're on additional Google services, you're going to see down here in the corner um, a whole bunch of pages. You want to page all the way to the last page. And once you get to the last page, you want to look for the web and app activity. Now the web and app activity is exactly what they need because um, for some reason it's a big crucial thing. Um, Google Maps does it as too. If I told Google to take me home on my Android device, it would ask for the web and app activity, which I could never find until now. So you go here, and it will say off. If, if this is not working, it's most likely because this is off. So once you go there, you want to then go ahead and um, enable it whenever it loads up. So... The whole terms and service stuff you can just ignore. You can go to edit service on the top right of the gray box for web and activity. Um, and then you want to go ahead and do on for everyone. Once you select that option, go ahead and hit the save button. Now once you save that, it will start working immediately because if I ask the same question I asked Google this more, uh, in the beginning of this video. Once you save it, okay, now it's saved. Okay, Google, set a timer. All right, for how long? Five seconds. Okay, five seconds, starting now. And now it works. It just works like it wasn't earlier. Okay, Google, stop. And so it's just that simple. Um, activating that one service, web and app activity, it made this device that was completely useless work again. Um, honestly, I was, <laughs> I was on the support chat for a good hour with them and they didn't know what was going on and I guess they didn't put the two things together that I was a business account. They asked me for my email address and for some reason they just didn't understand that I had a web and app activity off which not everyone would probably know uh, honestly because I, I did enable it on my um, Google Home service but as an administrator as an admin of the Google account, it was off. Which, even though it says it's on, you have to go into the settings, like I just told you, and activate it. So anyways, hopefully this helped you guys out, and hopefully it saved you a couple hours. And like me, it took me a good two or so hours to get this thing rolling. Um, but I'm happy I am, because now I can do other commands, like, okay, Google, turn the lamp off. Okay, turning off the lamp. And it works, you know. Um, okay, Google, turn the lamp on. Sure, turning the lamp on. And see, you know, it, it finally works, just like my uh, Alexa, how that works. And so, um, you know, I'm happy that, you know, the integration was really simple on this stuff because I already had it set up from this account. So uh, it's really good integration. Just the part that pisses me off was this whole thing took forever to figure out. You know, once I knew where to go, I knew. 
But um, it was the whole getting this, why are you not working? And then once it told me this, I was like, okay, well, I can go here and turn it on. So anyways, long story short, there you go. Uh, that's how it should work for you guys. And comment down below if you have any questions. Um, it should be pretty straightforward in the video. And uh, farewell, guys. Bye-bye.